dear students now we are going to see the synthesis of ketoconazole so what is the structure for ketoconazole it is an azole antifungal agent so what is the azole present here that is called as imidazole so what is the parent for this one that is called as piperazin in the first position of piperazin we have acetal fourth one is connected with phenyl that is connected with methoxy and the carbonomethoxy is connected with 1,3 dioxalane that is fourth position is connected with this carbon and the second position is connected with the two groups one is a 2,4 dichlorophenyl another one is methyl that methyl is connected to imidazole so that is the structure for um, ketoconazole so what are the heterocyclic rings present there one is a piperazine another one is imidazole and the last one is dioxalane that is 1,3 dioxalane now we'll see the synthesis same as atomiconazole the starting material is 2,4 dichloroacetophenone with that we are adding glycerol in the presence of tosic acid so what is glycerol CH2OH CHOH CH2OH so by the addition of glycerol what happens from that these two hydrogens should be taken that is combining with this oxygen and removed as water that's why this carbon no has to unite with this two oxygens to satisfy the valency of these oxygen and oxygens and this carbon so we are getting a dioxalane ring so how we are getting this ring so this carbon has joined with this two oxygen so that is this carbon these are the two oxygens okay so now with these two oxygens what are all there ch2 ch so this is that ch2 this is ch and what is left this ch2oh so that is this one CH2OH so by the addition of 2,4 dichloroacetophenone plus glycerol in the presence of tosic acid we are getting a 1,3 dioxalane derivative now we are going for bromination by means of bromine at 30 degree centigrade what happens here 1 H from this CH3 combines uh, combines with this bromine we are getting a bromo derivative now we are uh, treating with benzoyl chloride in the presence of pyridine and also ethanol so by the addition of this what happens here it is an acid no this is an acid chloride so by the removal of HCl we are getting an ester that is uh, CH2O is added with CO C6HY and we are getting ester now with this ester we are treating imidazole so what is meant by imidazole imidazole means Imidazole means 5 membered heterocyclic ring having two nitrogens at 1, 3. That is called as imidazole. Here, this H combines with Br and removed as HBr. That's why the imidazole ring would be attached with the CH2. And we got this. And next, we are treating with methane sulfonyl chloride, that is CH3SO2Cl, in the presence of sodium hydroxide. This methane sulfonyl chloride is otherwise called as uh, mesyl chloride. So, what happens here? This C6HYCO is combining with Cl and removed as a benzoyl chloride. That's why this SO2CH3 would be added with the CH2O. So, we got this. Now, with this, we are treating this one. So, before that, actually, it is a sodium salt, but um, parent is a hydrogen here. So, what is this one? Benzene ring with OH that can be called phenol. So, it is a phenol derivative. That phenol is connected with the piperazine ring, one end of piperazine. Another end of piperazine is connected with acetal. So, this would be the first position. This is the fourth position. So, fourth position we have acetal. First position we have phenol. Now, it is a sodium salt. No, so it is a sodium salt of 4 acetyl piperazine phenol. So, by the addition of this, what happens? This SO, sorry, CH3SO2 is combining with ONA and removed as CH3SO3NA. Now, this uh, left group now that is added with CH2O and we are getting ketoconazole. Once again, I'll summarize. First, we have taken 2,4 dichloroacetophenone that is treated with the glycerol in the presence of tosic acid. There may be removal of one molecule of water. We are getting dioxalate derivative that undergoes bromination. We are getting bromo derivative. Then we are treating with benzoyl chloride. We are getting an ester, and we are treating with imidazole. HBr is removed, and we are getting an imidazole derivative. Then we are treating with the methane sulfonyl chloride that the benzoyl group is removed and instead of that we have SO2CH3. Finally, we are treating with the sodium salt of 4-acetyl piperazine phenol. We got ketoconazole. So that's all about the synthesis of ketoconazole.